Howdy everybody, it's Sweet Southern Belle. Um, and today I'm going to be showing y'all how to um, add each other's uh, VTuber models for collabs using VFace and Discord instead of using just static PNGs. Um, this is really intensive on your computer um, and on your internet, so uh, make sure that you th your stuff can uh, handle it. And if not, I will leave a link to um, the PNG method so that you can do that instead if this doesn't work out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So first things first is you're going to go into show settings, um, general. You'll start up up here um, and you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to click on enable virtual camera. Now, if you don't have it already installed, this button here will say install virtual camera. You just click that and it should uh, lo uh, download. Next, this is going to be, basically it's gonna look like this, just a black background image. What you're gonna wanna do um, is go into any paint or even get it off of the internet, get a green screen background just a background that is that neon green color and then you're going to click load background image and it's going to come up there now you're not going to see it here but that's fine don't worry now i'm going to be going over here i'll be doing the same thing beep, boop 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 all right here i am in the in the call um and we'll just pretend that I'm collabing uh, with this other person. So once you're in the call, you're going to click on this downward button and it will start you off on either your uh, integrated webcam or whatever uh, um, camera you have plugged in, but you're gonna wanna click on the VC face camera. And then before you turn on your video camera, you can click on preview. So we'll show you what it looked like here. Um, you will be mirrored, but that's just how it be sometimes. And then you click turn on camera. See, boom, here I am. So now the person I'm collabing with um, can use my image. I'm gonna do the same over here. And boom, look, we got two of me. So now what we gotta do is uh, figure out how to get to this other person's model, this uh, regular me versus comfy me. Um, into either your OBS or your Streamlabs. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this button here, pop out. After that, you can minimize this, but make sure to keep this one open. Now, mine's already set up like this, but yours will probably start off uh, looking like this. Something like this. So what you're gonna wanna do is obviously you only want this other person. So either you can click on them or you can click on um, these buttons up here to change it. And it, th this will probably start up right here. So there's me in the corner, but we, we don't wanna see me. Um, also make sure that you go and you click show, uh, do not show non-video participants. Um, and what you can do is basically, so instead of having me there, you can just click on that so that I disappear. For some people, that doesn't work. So then all you have to do is even if it is, they are still right here. Um, I can show you that you can just simply crop them out of the picture. So then keeping this open, do not minimize this. You go into OBS, add your source, and you're going to do window capture. You can call it whatever you want. And it's going to capture Discord null, right? You probably don't want your cursor. You click OK. Now, if you were able to hide them, that's great. If you weren't, if they were uh, still there, or if it even comes up like this, hide the members. Let's say you can't, you can't get rid of, you can't make them, this person go away. They won't, they won't leave you alone. All you have to simply do then is if you can't get rid of it, uh, go into your transform or your edits and edit that. And you can simply, you can't see it because it's part of OBS, you uh, go to crop them out. Okay. 
and they're gone. And you're gonna wanna crop off the top, that little top part too. Boom, now you got me a cute little box. Now, now you have the person that you want. Now you got uh, their, their image, but we have this annoying green background. So then what you're gonna do, is you're gonna the right click the window capture, you're gonna go to filters. Can you see this? Yes, you can, awesome. Filters, add it, and you're gonna click, click on chroma key. It should automatically be set on green type. And look, voila, the green is gone. And since you're cropped, now you're on a transparent background. So now you and uh, if I wanted to add uh, myself, boom. Now we're both here. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. And you can do your uh, your collab with both of you interacting. But again, like I said, this is very intensive on your computer and um, on your internet. So I definitely recommend that both of the people have ethernet ports um, and that you have pretty bulky computers because vFace already takes up enough CPU, but having to run basically two vFaces can uh, be real taxing on your computer. Um, but otherwise, uh, I hope this helps and uh, to see awesome collabs uh, using this in the future. All right, catch y'all later. Bye.